Good morning, and welcome to More Moments with Jesus. I got up this morning and said, well, maybe I'll get the uh, little video done this morning, Lord. I got my daily send out, which I'll read and going to share with you. Um, <clears throat> again, if you'd like to uh, be part of my daily mailing list, it's an inspiration. Um, it was words that uh, some claim were the Spirit of the Lord talking to them. And uh, it's all Bible referenced. And these, this was the inspiration that came out of those Bible passages. And uh, there's one for each day of the year. Plus, we have the Bible, of course, which all this comes out of. And uh, most of all, we've got the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord with us each and every day. Simply because he loved us so much, unconditionally, he died for us and uh, to erase our sin. Um, so I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to share this reading. And if you'd like to be on the list again, you can email me. I don't, I don't get back. I post to Facebook, Twitter, Google, Pinterest. and uh, <clears throat> But I don't always get back to those to read any of the comments. Sometimes I'll get prompted through the uh, computer saying uh, so-and-so wants to be friends on Facebook. Um, I, I find a lot of the, you know, I, I've, I've met a few people this way and, uh, but my main, my main purpose in doing any of this is the Lord will have whoever he wants to see these videos to listen to the message uh, through me. He reaches them. But he knows who that is and he knows what's happening. So I don't worry about how many hits and I'm not here to get a bunch of people. I mean, if people read, that's great. Um, but anyway. Today's inspiration is the Lord speaking to these people. He says, linger in my presence, linger in my presence a while. Rein in your impulses to plunge into the day's activities. What a line. Okay. Rein in your impulses to to plunge into the day's activities. We all need to do that. Because we wake up, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. So I gotta, well, it's hard, come on, I gotta get this, I gotta get. You don't have to get anything done except to sit and start your day with the Spirit of the Lord every day. It's peaceful, it's meaningful, the only meaningful thing, okay? Beginning your day alone with me is essential preparation for success. Essential. Look up the word. We all know what success is. We all seek that, don't we? And that is the success that our soul seeks. Is Savior Jesus Christ. A great athlete takes time to prepare himself mentally for the feet ahead of him before he moves a muscle. Very true. I've been in, in uh, athletic competitions. And you do that. You're taught to do that. And here he is the creator of the universe trying to teach us how to help ourselves here in this flesh life. A great athlete. Oh, okay. Similarly, your time of being still in my presence equips you for the day ahead of you. Only I know what will happen to you this day. I have arranged the events you will encounter as you go along your way. If you are not adequately equipped for the journey, you will grow weary and lose heart. Relax with me while I ready you for action. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? 
also in that inspiration you see that your whole day my whole day everyone's whole day has already been created before this world was created by the creator of everything people don't we our minds weren't we can't wrap our minds around that we can just have faith and believe that it's what we have to do um and if you do that then uh you're uh you're better off so i'll take 15 minutes this morning I like the computer it's got a little timer on there because i was i used to get, have a timer because when i was doing my public broadcast i'd do it for an hour and it's it's you know, sometimes it's it's hard to sit and talk for an hour, especially you know about Jesus. I, I'm getting better at it as I go along. I can talk about Jesus, you know. But my main, you know, my main theme um, that he keeps putting for me is is everything is centered on him. Everything. The Bible tells us he is the all, the everything. Everything here is centered in him. What you try to control here, you lose in him. So you can control anything. He does all the control. Praise God. I mean, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Spirit. We know so little. And the flesh world has lied to us right from the beginning. Look around you today. Okay. Are you going to have problems today? Yeah, probably will. I hope you don't. And there may be days you, you seemingly don't have any problems. <laughs> But there are going to be many choice points along the way of your journey today. I'm going to be there in my journey. And you're going to have to make choices. Well, if you're walking along talking to Jesus, you're, you're going to make the right choice. You won't make it. He, he's going to point it to you. Go over here. If you look at it and say, oh, I don't want to go over there. Oh, I made a bad choice. Because he's telling you to go over there. Do you know why? No. Will you know why? No. Not always. Sometimes you will. Sometimes you go over and go, thank you, Jesus. Now I see it. Did you see it 10 seconds ago? No. And sometimes it happens like a month later. Now I know why I was there. Now I know why this happened. And it increases our faith and trust in him. That's what he's trying to do. Because he knows the more faith and trust we have in him, the safer our life becomes. It's not going to be devoid of problems. You're going to have, you're going to have, you know, hurt fingers. And, you know, you might be shaving cut yourself or your friend will disown you. My whole family's disowned me. <laughs> well, my dad, two sisters left. One was outwardly told me. I mean, you know, she didn't even give me the chance to, you know, I, I, if somebody wants to disown me, that, but at least somehow prove to me why you want to disown me. Give me a chance. A chance. If you can prove that then I look at it and say, hey, you know what? You're right. I apologize. Give me a second chance. Huh? I didn't get that from my one sister. The other sister, I don't think she would. Uh, she's very opinionated. Very. She has 
they have their way. But, you know, they're right, you're wrong. So, and it's unfortunate because that means they're, they're trying to control the narrative with no proof that they didn't look up. They may take proof from someone else. How do they know that that person has the right truth? But if you look it up yourself, then you get the truth. The Bible's full of it. It starts on the surface and it goes down deeper and deeper. People don't want to believe it. And some of us, downright scary. That's why you need the Lord, because you fear the Lord, but you don't fear this flesh world. There's nothing it can do to you when you're in the Lord. Nothing. Oh, physically, you know. I'm sure we, I was in a uh, place yesterday where they were talking about Stephen being stoning in Acts. In Acts, it's a section in Acts. The book Acts in the Bible, the New Testament. And, uh, Stephen never felt this stones. I don't think he did. I wasn't there, so perhaps he did. But I, I, I think the Lord would have shielded him from that. He was already looking into heaven. He saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. Now, I'm telling you right now, I have had the Damascus Road experience, you know. And the Lord still worked for it. He has to clean me up before he would do anything with me. He has used me, you know. And, and that, that was my blessing. I mean, I, I can't, I didn't deserve it. It was his choice. And I thank you, Jesus. That's why I do all this. And uh, I don't have to. No, nope, his love's unconditional. Don't have to do a darn thing. You know, I could just sit here and crochet, make scarves and do these videos. Or I wouldn't even, have, I could sit in a chair and absolutely never say another word. And Just talk to him or think about it. I don't even have to say anything. Just think about it. The story in the Bible of Martha and Mary. Martha sat at Jesus' feet. Mary ran around like a crazy woman trying to prepare all the meals and everything for everybody. Yet, what did Jesus say? Mary has chosen the better part. Doesn't mean that Martha didn't do, you know, good things. Martha was mad at Mary for not helping her. That just that one little, and people think these are like made up fairy tales in this Bible. You know, find out that was their instructions. And how to put improvements in a better way to live in this flesh world. Um, but just in that one story, there's so much you could add to your life. Just like taking time this morning, you know. I mean, I've got things I got to do. I got to go to a doctor's appointment tonight. I mean, you know, I get, I got to go get my coffee and my donut. That's all I don't need. But I go there. I crochet. Sometimes people come by and say, "Oh, I love your shirt." You know, and then we get to start a conversation about Jesus. I got a friend I'm going to, uh, you know, pick up today. We're going to do a little music. You see, every day, and those are things that he really pointed out to me. Um, 
the coughing, and that's a routine I do. The gentleman I'll play music with today was something that just came into my life through another person a couple of days ago. So it's, it's like a lead. As you're searching of things, what to do. He puts leads, and you follow up the leads. Now, maybe it'll turn into something, maybe it won't. But you follow the leader. I have to go to my doctor's morning. I have a couple of things that physically, I'm getting older, 73, so. Um, I got a, you know, they're going to help. It's another lead. You follow the lead, see if they can get the problem fixed up for you. But he's, Jesus is the one that's going to fix the problem anyway. The way it is. All right, you have a great day. Okay. This is my little time with Jesus in the morning. So now he's mentally helping me prepare for the day. Now I can go out the door and know that I took a little bit of time to spend with him in the morning. Because that's what he tells us to do. We must do what he tells us to do, what he points out for us to do. That's not a choice, that's a requirement. Okay, as he calls it a command. If you do these things, then your life is going to get better. You may not win the lottery, hopefully not. <laughs> Although if he wants you to, you're going to win the lottery. But he'll know that you're going to do the right thing with that money. Won't be set up for you. I mean, things you need will be. But pass it on. All this is irrelevant. The only thing that's relevant is the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a great day. Love, joy, and peace. God loves you. Read the Bible more. Take time to develop the relationship with the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.